Hi, this is Herb Shapiro, aka Dr. Vax, and I'm going to tell you about my favorite small shop portable workbench. Let's describe some of my requirements. I steal space for my workshops in my basement. My woodworking workshop is in a utility room in a back corner. It's about 10 by 10. It has an exhaust fan. It's a permanent location. I can make it very messy. However, my 3D printing, electronics, and CAD work area is in the front of our basement, separated by an inexpensive folding panel that I purchased at a um, home supply store. So, I needed a set of workbenches that I could assemble quickly. If necessary, I could fold up and move, but were very sturdy and wouldn't vibrate excessively when I used them for 3D printers. At the same time, I used these same workbenches for my compound miter saw, for my router. So they're designed to be robust. These wonderful workbenches sell for $80. Now, let's take a look at what it is. It's actually a plastic top with aluminum legs. They claim it can hold 1,500 pounds. I'm not going to test that. What's really wonderful about it is it comes with a series of clamps that you can use to hold things down on it, to move things around. Um, and it's inexpensive enough that if I cut it, if I damage it, if I melt a piece of it with a by putting down a solder iron, I don't really care. Okay, so let's unbox this and see how we're going to put it together. I'm going to lay it down flat on my bumper pull table. We'll cut off these strips here. And the first thing I'm going to remove is this box of utility parts on the bottom. Now I've done this before, so I know there are all sorts of goodies in here. In here, you will find a variety of things depending on your use. One of the primary uses for this table is for routers, but if you're not using it for a router, it doesn't matter. However, if you are, you need plates that are the right size, whoops, that are the right size for your individual router. Um, it comes with all of those. More importantly, it has these wonderful clamps that we're going to set aside. I'll show you how to use these in a few minutes. And, then it also has clamps that connect onto the side of the table that can be used to support two by fours to extend the size of the table. We're going to take those out also and take a look at those later. So I'm going to put back the face plates for the routers. We won't be using that right now. Let me grab the one that dropped on the ground. And this just clamps right back in here, so you don't lose any of these parts. Okay, now, if you look at the bottom of this, you'll see how the legs are stored. The whole assembly of this consists of popping out these legs, and then screwing them into the sockets on the bottom. And you do have to give it a good turn. The legs do have levelers on the bottom, and these are made of some type of rubber-like material. I don't know what it is, but it works great for 3D printers because it doesn't vibrate. It works great for my compound miter saw because it holds it in place on my tile floor. So let's screw these in. And we are all done assembling this work table. I'm going to move it over into its permanent location behind me on the other side of the camera. And then we'll come back and I'll show you some of the additional features of this wonderful table. Okay, well, I've moved the uh, workbench, the table, into my 3D printing area. You'll see behind me are two other tables like this. I have a fourth one that I use for my compound miter saw in the woodworking area. I'll show you a photo of that uh, in a moment. So let's look at a couple of features of this table that I really 
light. The first is, see these T-slots? Well, many, many different types of clamps. Uh, these clamps were, I don't know, 4 or $5 at uh, Harbor Freight. Slide into these T-slots and can be used to hold things down onto this table. Uh, you can use that to stabilize a 3D printer. You can use that to hold down a piece of wood that you're going to be drilling in. Um, it's really very convenient. So this is one type that fits in there. This is another type that fits in there. Now, in addition, you get two of these. These are clamps made to fit in there that come with the table. And the way you use those is you drill holes in a piece of wood. Could be any type of wood. Could be a block of metal. You insert these clamps in here, like this. Oops, wrong way. Let's get them both in the right direction. And then you can take and slide both of those into the T-slot. So let's slide that one in. And let's slide this one in. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get them to slide in. And then, by tightening it down, you have a support that you can use for a variety of procedures. In this particular case, if we had a router here that has a bit that sits vertically and rotates rapidly, we could use this as a fence for that router. But you could also use this to clamp things down to the work surface, uh, something that you might be working on at the time. In addition, on the side, you have four of these brackets. They clip into two, four, six, eight different positions on the table. And then you can slide two by fours into these brackets. Let's take this out of the way. So as an example, slide this here. Now, if the two by four was very long, um, that will effectively extend the table. You can put another surface on top of it. So there are a lot of different ways to utilize uh, these tables. You can see that this could slide in here. Um, it's just a remarkably convenient piece of um, furniture for your workshop. So I highly recommend them. I recommend them for use with 3D printers. You can see I have my Ender 5, I have my Prusa i3, MK3, Mark 3, and I have my Monoprice uh, select mini behind me, um, and uh, this has worked out very well for me. This particular table will be here in this position specifically for me to present uh, various projects I'm working on. I'll show you one that will be coming up uh, soon. Instead of making maker coins on 3D printers, I'm going to make maker coasters on 3D printers from different materials and test them. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy learning about how to set up a shop, how to become a maker, 3D printing, woodworking, electronics, please subscribe. I'll be focused specifically on teaching these skills to the 10,000 baby boomers that are retiring in the United States and Canada and more throughout the world every single day. There are over 70 million boomers just in the U.S. and Canada and many, many more uh, throughout the world. Thanks again. Please subscribe. Have a great day.